Hi guys, it's me just Lindsay again. And for this video that that's dedicated to the Hogging System in 2023. And when this movie comes out it'll be Christmas Eve, so it's very very quick. What I'm gonna do for you guys today. I I'm gonna I'm gonna get an old movie from the pile back there, and I'm going to uh, go through it with you guys. Do more, please. <clears throat> this movie is it's a wonderful life stars. Do I read? And she means to it as Mary and uh, <clears throat> George Bailey. Listen to you. They, they really want you know that these two people are starring in the movie because in the ending credits, it, they show them in big bold letters, whereas everybody else, even Clarence, is, is, um, is played by Henry Travers. Is, is, um, Is in regular size text where the two people are in involved. Now this movie is um to really come out in Well, I don't want to come out right now, but come out, come out around the time my father was born, and that be in 50 52. So it's quite the old movie. It's in black and white to be to be reminiscent of a fairy tale, and it's it, it's like a timeless classic. But about this guy, like, for the hard times, and he wanted to end all, end all, end it all with a suicide. And, um, <clears throat> it's, it's, it's a pretty good because it's just that, but this guy is, um, affects everybody around him. Even, even the building and the, uh, the, um, non, um, non living items. And, uh, there, there are plenty of parodies of this which show the same um, amount of dedication, the same amount of a butterfly effect before the movie came out. <clears throat> and uh, it also took like a good, good will toward all people and good will toward all men. Plus, this is, this is where the, the phrase, every time about this an angel gets its wings. I heard that period so many times that, um, what the phrase would be every time a Trump or every time a Trump associate goes to jail, an angel gets its wings. I, I can find that very funny. But other than that, there's no political jokes in this movie. Now, there's been periods of this in, in Tiny Dunes and Batman, the cartoon series, and among, among others, and they all share the thing, the will, and they share the good warmth of Christmas, and it's it, so it said that all, like, all humans like that is important. Because it, it affects not only you, but it affects relatives, like your, like your parents, your friends, family, businesses, among, among other things too. So yeah, it, it's a big good movie. You know, that being said, there are some boring parts of this movie. I, I, I know, give me all the 
if you want, but let's see some of the more um, interesting, uh, like bank scenes are kind of boring, to say the least. And, um, <clears throat> it also has kind of a uh, Christmas Carol feel to it, too. We, we, you know, we got to learn this lesson. Three from angels, a supernatural being who has um who uh, ends up becoming all right with the world, being changed from a better man to being a good, good person again. Like uh, like um Ebenezer Scrooge, you know, doing Billy. At first, he was a loving guy. You know, giving it charity, you know, helping out the poor and all that. But then he, but then he slowly became a bad person through hard times. But then he eventually, you know, grew into, uh, he met the supernatural creature in Ebenezer's crude case with the ghosts, Christmas, past, present, and future. And this one, it was a divine creature named Clarence, that was his, um, glory angel. And, um, he earned a wing too, and, um, uh, you know, he became a bad person in you know, loving life, loving his family, friends, and whatnot, what have you. There's even a line in the end that says, no, no, man, it, is a fair who has friends. Oh yeah, thanks for the wound, Clarence. So yeah, it's very point in that way. Now, let me, let me tell you that this movie was mean in, in time when women and men had their own separate roles in the household. Where women were just supposed to be the housewives and the children and the children raisers and uh, the men in the house are supposed to bring, bring them bacon sometimes literally in the case of, of a butcher but um yeah um so if you look if you look for any type of um you know um liberal type Film, you know, level type of um, discussion about how rules should be changed. This, this isn't a movie because this movie is better conservative as you can get for that. <clears throat> and uh, when they talk about suicide, they talk about it more in like a um, religious sense. That it's against religious law. So I don't know if you guys are down for that or whatnot, but it's against the, the law. So I also like, I also give this interest to reading one of the first movies that I could hear um, Fourth Wall Breaks. And by that I mean there's one part in the movie where they have a. Um, Doing like his uh, speech spiel, and then they have um the angels and, and got up there and having well, not to cut the remote from click, but they're doing like a, a free thing, and then they're talking about it, the guy George, and then the other part where the, the guy um where they have a cab driver or car service guy, you know, primitive Uber or Lyft. They, yeah, he, he's up, he turns the camera and says, look, look what I got here, I get to make it in the back, get married and stuff, but he just got married. So, so there. It's, it's kind of funny with the way we do that. So, I don't believe that they've ever had any you know, of or breaking like that in the, in the past movies. So, the, 
again, God is claiming in the other angels, uh, you know, the they got monitored this guy. Because he can do something that's horrible. He made suicide. Now, I like Clarence a lot. He's not the brightest angel in the back, as everyone will say. And I love the way Futurama period this a little bit. Because when God is talking with the other angels and whatnot, it's a little bleeding, a bleeding galaxy. Very reminiscent of what you did in the drama episode of God told us, in which God played by Blue West, I think, was um, talking to Bender and, the, and some males, I think, and, um, you know, evaluating his role as a God. But he was a blinking galaxy. Much like this one is. And it's funny. I actually like like that. So they got they probably got that that reference from this movie. Very good job. Very good job. So um I bet you I bet you didn't figure out where that came from. But um then then we have um, them all saying that Clarence is um not smart. Where I thought angels were all supposed to be perfect, and he didn't do anything like pick each other. And another part they have um, that Clarence can't see properly, and that's because he has a guy with wing jet. His wing jet. Now I'm I'm no master on philosophy or theology or anything, but what in the world does do the wings have to do with eyesight? I mean, a wing plug class that it's probably with with it with them in case the ending well um we also saw at the very beginning of George's life when he's a little boy and falls into a river. And his brother Harry has to go save his life. Now, it's a frozen river, so everything is cold. And because I developed a problem with his right ear. But look, I'm having an ear right now. But he's a permanent ear drum is damaged. So he can hear out of that ear. Maybe it's the other ear, but yeah, whatever. So, anyway, um, they show that, and they teach you, um, in the in life. A little bit later, they show him, um, get, getting, um, got, the, the pharmacist guy, he's like, the pharmacist guy is like, um, kind of rude and na nasty, like an old man, but with, with, with serious hand problems to the point that he starts making the kid around. Now, back then, this kind of stuff must have been allowed you know, in the in the nineteen teens ish time period, twenty or something. Now, um, that nobody that does the film fire at all. Be dangerous to the kid and for the other people who moved in the store. But that's that's tough when it's like, no matter how cranky you are, no matter how drunk you are, you can't leave your hands on the kid. But being back then, they could do that. So they, they show the guy manhandling this boy. Over the fact that he worked to the point of pharmacist to give him bad pills, bad medication, bad poison medication, so to somebody else. This will come up by later on, but um, yeah, that's just one little 
distance. And then we come to the part where um, everybody knows something to watch the movie, yeah. Uh, Bruce Almighty, where where he lost the moon and he pretends into the bone Jennifer Aniston. You know, if, if I were, if I had the powers of God, I would do the same thing. It's based at Aniston Booty. That's on me. But, um, anyway, they, they showed that they showed Demon Stewart saying, you know, I'll bring back, I will be a little bit lost of the moon and bring it to you. Well, him and Tyler, we got to see Buffalo Gals and the Count Night, Count Night, my thing. I believe that song was from, um, the How You Do You Show, but I, I can't say that. I can't say for certain. Anyway, um, the soundtrack is, like, pretty good. Like, like in the, in the, in the sorry. Then the TV story, in which they put songs on there, modern Christmas songs on there, and then they did the same thing for this movie, It's a Wonderful Life. But the, the songs are more, more or less like, you know, the more, the more equivalent in time than when the movie came out. But, um, Anyway, the show, um, the, the show, um, <clears throat> the show these two, but they, they're more adult, adults than anything else. And that's supposed to be like in high school or early college, somewhere, somewhere around that, that time, like around the teen, late teens, early 20s type age group. But, look at these two, do they honestly look like they're that age, in that age group? No, of course not. Granted, they do look a older in this picture, but still, you know, they, they, look, they look more like 30 or 40 year old playing young, young people. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> There's also, um, <clears throat> so we, we find out later on those two get married, and the main, the main focus of this whole thing is then get married, then get married, raising a family, like, three or four kids, so, um, and if it's a hobby, you know, Mary's got, got a, um, a family going on there, making dinner as usual, like, from a, like, from an old TV sitcom. Like, um, and then we got, um, <clears throat> we got, um, we got, we got, um, <clears throat> The kids, when the kids playing piano, um, sick, you know, in bed and stuff, and another one got, you know, the, the sick one got to home early because of school because of a bad part with with teacher. No, no, um, what's her name? Um, George, George bottled the teacher over the phone. And, um, that really wrong in the movie when the, the father, the husband, actually punches him out over it and throws him out of the water he's at. I'm too a smart to do that. An already depressed man on the verge of committing suicide. Now, one other thing that I missed was that when Clarence is being thrown, George, an adult George, he said, he said something like, um, oh, I like him, he's got a nice face, I like, I like that face. 
Now, um, that comes up as very, very, very weird for Angel to be saying that about his client, but it's essentially his client's face. It'd be like me saying that one of my students, I like, I like your face. I, I love to look when you win, earning my wings. You see, when I say it sounds wrong and creepy, I'm on to say it. But when Clarence says it's alright, maybe because he's an angel. <clears throat> and you know what's even weirder is that what would be even weirder is if he said this when he would look at George, the, the boy. As a little kid, it would have been a huge worry, but I'm not going to go into that. But um, it would have been weird Spook to boot. So, the next part is that um, during the entire movie, we find out that um, George inherited his father begging for him because his father died of a stroke. I don't have to do with that, the kind of issue with the parent died from a stroke, but um, you can imagine it'd be pretty traumatic for a younger, younger person to do that. And I like the way he urged, he leaves Mary on the side of the road and the side of the street over there to go see his father one well, last time. Like, you know, like that. That's all well and great, but Stay, stay over there. I, I gotta go see my daddy for the last time. Which is good. For says dire circumstances, you should be able to leave, leave your girlfriend behind and go see your dying father. Anyway, it did show um Next day, took got growing up learning the baking business as a go on. Now, he originally starts out addressing, trying to help out people, taking out of his own money and saving account and donating to people to help them out with stuff. Now, um, unfortunately, that's the only highlight of the of this part of the movie because talking about bank, banking and foreclosures and stuff like that just really boring and takes up most of the movie runtime. time now I'm sure that there are people out there that will find this so really interesting but eventually um, I know that they're implying that it's because of the depression Great Depression, or just run bad luck, but George eventually becomes a sour person over over time, over a few years actually, and he he had to do foreclosures on people, mortgages on people until he gets mortgages on his own, I believe, and you know he had to borrow money against his housing property. And then, you got to take a life insurance policy on himself. So with somebody else, else that's, and then you're, you're more valuable dead than alive. You know? Well, he's always depressed about all that. And then, the guy, the, the father of the, the, uh, the husband of the guy who yelled that type and then daughter homes and guys like presumably gets him into fight at the at the bar like that after he snaps at his wife and he stumps on the phone and he yells at his kids for pride to him piano. You know, all for uh, all, all the practice for a um, uh, party that will happen. Now um I guess, I guess I did this 
putting a lot, a lot of pressure on him to do that. And I, 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 really, I really do feel sorry for him. But then, as he contemplated to himself, he ends up driving into a tree. A family tree, actually, from somebody else, else's family. To which the cape pulls him out about it. My great grandfather put a tree and blah, 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 and all of that stuff. So that puts me in even more of a pissy mood. So right before he's about to jump off a bridge into the choir, Clarence shows up and dives in before he does. And um, Clarence is the most sweet angel in the world. Of course a guy, but he's the sweetest guy in the world. Not too bright though, but still a nice guy. And he, he the, help, help me, help me, help me, help me, I'm trying to help me, help me. So, George jumps in, jumps in and gets him, rather than comedians and own death. I don't know why, I don't know why he would do that, because I guess Midsy would like, would like more company and stuff, but, I don't know. One of the, one of the guys operating the bridge, it's like, um, it's very funny, because it's like, he goes in too well. He searches for me with a flashlight. Now, I, I, this camera trick is done with matches. I don't know, but it's, it's kind of weird to have the guy that you mean to do it, and Henry Travers in the wire at the same time. I think I look in that little flashlight. I don't get to do that. Put the two aggro in the wire in the free and cold at, among other than Christmas time. I think Christmas is actually. So they, they face the two men out of the water. And as he's talking about the guys, he trying to get, he trying to spit into this platoon. And, and uh, Clarence makes jokes about his own death. Since this, this is the outfit I die in. To where the guy, the guy is, is about to spit and he's like, and then he took a double take. And then, and then something else happens, and he's no double to Like, and then he's, I'm, I'm a car angel of the woods. Then the guy takes a, takes a drink, runs up the with a door. So, it's funny because the suit looks like an open tear sack. But, um, anyway, thinking of that, that then, then they, then they um, kill the guy from, you know, and I, w I wish I never knew more. What would be better off without me? So then he said, you know, there won't be, there won't be any more joy and belly in, in the world. So, apparently God doesn't like that very much because he said, uh, you know, he saw the big Got the wind outside. Now, George, Clarence says, uh, oh, be quiet. I'm, I don't, I, 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 I don't do what you told me to do. So, so all the lines. So, so, the injury that George got from that means the word is living busted in or healed. The healing problem is healed too. And we're like, how, how in the hell did that happen? So, we are then told that there is no record of George, no record of the tree, no record of his business, no record of his house, his car, whatever. So, we, um, <clears throat> then they, 
Isaita Lam. Well, a lot of previous instances of him helping people out didn't really happen. Number one, uh, when Harry, his brother, saved him in, in the river, then it happened. He died. And the people who Harry would have saved in the, in the army, when he joined the army, they didn't have anybody to save him. He already died in the river. So they died on top of that. The, the thing can be said for them. Um, for when, um, <clears throat> for a pharmacist, because a pharmacist gave, gave them poisonous pill to some kid, and the kid died, and the, and the pharmacist had to go to jail. He was just released, and he's a, he's a dying old shaky man and stuff in this universe. It kind of reminds me of a Back to Future 2 with the older timeline and stuff. Uh, Monica go back and fix the past. Because of one event that happened in the past. It's just it's about biblical through time and space. So, you'll see that Mary became an old, became an old maid. And that's an old term meaning a woman that never got married with an old closet. Never got married. Nobody loves them and everything else. No kids, no nothing. I call both on that because I would get an attractive woman like Mary would get a, would get a husband eventually, find love and have kids and all that good shit. So that happened. So because because uh, George was born, Harry died, and therefore the soldier died. The pharmacist went to jail and was miserable for his whole life. And Mary was all miserable, and there's no face of his his kid either. Kind of, it goes to mind with fly too. So one person attends all those people so far. And there's, there's no, um, there's no, well, none of his old buildings are the same. And none of the old. The tree is no longer damaged. No more car, no more house. Um, <clears throat> it's no, um, the, the bar we worked in changed. I think the bartender would sound a lot like um, George Cassandra from Seinfeld. And, um, you know, your life, it's important to know that in this movie, your life also affects other people as well besides yourself. So, the show on. Um, he took that is he you you may not feel the best. Other people are being affected by him and they're happy that he's around. And happy that he's breathing and born all that. So, um you know, the, it's good to show you that even even if you're miserable other people will enjoy your company when his kids keep the baby point too. Now that's called how to taste for um, bad people to do that. If you're, if you're here, uh, other people will be happy. Even if you're miserable and you make it like miserable for others. Like say, uh, Hitler or say, uh, Mad the dog, or I say, yeah, Pol Pot. Mm, that, those people are miserable, but they're still alive. So, you know, when, when they went live and stopped, so they, uh, they were to, um, 
make uh, make others suffer. You know, they they had those people had. You know, I think I'm trying to say that if uh, those people had different circumstances, they could make others happy and stuff. Instead, they made it miserable. It's kind of hard to explain it. I, I think it kind of pops it up, but you know what I'm trying to say about that. So, um, <clears throat> you know, that they were happy when people put them in jail too, or killed kill them or kill themselves or whatever. So, um, they show that the entire world is miserable without, without this guy. Even the name of the town is changed in, in the movie. So they, they show that um, this guy is really, really important, even though he, don't, he doesn't feel it himself. Even though he's miserable, he's hearing his bad in one ear, and uh, you know, it's cranky and stuff like that. So then he said, as a whole lot is over with, he said, I wish I were born, I wish I were born, I wish I were born, I wish I were born. So everything is reset to someone at the time of A, but he just felt so thankful and so happy to be alive. So he friends of it and he said, uh, Merry Christmas to you, Merry Christmas to you, Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas, old building. Uh, Merry Christmas, post office. Merry Christmas to everybody. And you go home and he, he loves his wife. He loves the kids. And yet, even Clement gets his room back. So, they bring me to the big cover, which he loves all of his family members. He even makes a guest appearance by Harry, his brother from the, from the army, or, or whatever he is. The Marines or something like that. And uh, they all sing a song from a New Year's song, you know. La 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 la. You know, that's the song. And uh, it's really, really happy, even, even though that's the wrong uh, song for, the, for Christmas. So anyway, they, they show that this one person is very important, and that, and uh, what happens is, uh, they also show that the circumstances can change on time. Because the bank guy get rips up the mortgage, and and gets a, gets a notice that he will be forwarded twenty five thousand dollars, whereas he were to owe the bank eight thousand dollars. So he it's so he in the black area. So that's good. So yeah, things change for my time. If he, if he had committed suicide with, with, before Clarence intervened, that would mean he would not get the 25 grand and everywhere else would be miserable and fatherless with him. And the wife wouldn't have a husband. So, yeah, this movie definitely showed Chris's joy, the value of a life. And it also shows how well friendship means everything to somebody with, with uh, so much right, right on his life. And just that one person can make a difference to so many other people. <clears throat> you know, it would, be, it would be pretty miserable without that one person for the entire everybody. everybody. And I wonder if Clarence saw the third when he died. Mm -hmm. I definitely recommend this movie to the younger generation. Because it's awesome. 
definitely uh, it definitely uh, brings up good in people and it also took the angel to be doing the entertainment the bell lives so ring all the bells you can and you all the angels the wings so that they can see unsuspecting people and I think you guys like this video that dedicated the hot Christmas season for 2023 for so the movie Into Wonderful Life is on, is on Christmas so it should, it should be only proper that I talk about this for Christmas Eve and uh, you know everyone happy and joyous at the end which is very welcome in Friday's chapter movie and yeah uh, I mean, even to, to George, that you know, you know, you might not think of it. You did have a wonderful life there on, on Earth before you, eat, before you decide to uh, help yourself. But uh, as uh, Jack Dawson would say, you will be stabbed with a, a thousand knives if you hit that water, that icy cold water. Anyway, if you like what you see here and you want to see more of my videos, you can always like, comment, share, and share my video. Or if you want to, you can subscribe to my channel. Or if you want to contact me for any future videos, or just to say hello, you can always comment me on my. You can always call me or text me at. 631-707-3707 Or if you, if you like, you can get me out my Twitter account or actually you prefer at Pete Pro or, or if you want, you can get me on my email account directly at JJ's Viewing Channel at gmail.com So, I subscribe on behalf of Harry and all the veterans out there Have a merry Have a very merry Hamas And uh <clears throat> Happy Kwanzaa Happy Life Day Happy New Year And my personal favorite Happy Shut the Fuck Up Day Aloha, and have a very happy and safe holiday season this year.